Hey there, good morning everyone. Thursday the 16th of November 2023. This morning's devotional is a reading from the book of Romans chapter 12, reading verses 4 and 5 and they read, Just as each one of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we who are many form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. The pando is a clonal organism representing an individual male quaking aspen that spans 106 acres and is both the largest tree by weight and the largest, largest tree by landmass. It is also the largest known aspen clone. It is one single tree made up of 47,000 trunks and millions of leaves, all connected through one root system. The name Pando comes from the Latin meaning, I spread. Each trunk depends on the others. Where is it found, you might ask? It is found in Fish Lake National Forest in, in Utah, United States. Pando gives us a great picture of the state of community we are designed to live in. God made us to live in re relationship with Him and in re relationship with one another. As one poet put it, no man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. And so a paraf paraphrase from Romans chapter 12, 4 to 6a, could read as such. We are like the various parts of a human body. Each part gets its meaning from the body as a whole, not the other way around. The body we are talking about is Christ's body of chosen people. Each of us finds our meaning and function as a part of his body. But as a chopped off finger or cut off toe, we wouldn't amount to much now, would we? So, since we find ourselves fashioned in all these excellently formed and marvelously functioning parts in Christ's body, let us just go ahead and be what we were made to be. Are there people in your life you can depend on, and people who can depend on you, people who will call you out on places of inconsistency or error? Is your life joined with others by mutual prayer, meals and laughter? My dear friends, God designed you to grow with others. We are rooted in faith, growing together. This idea that the world has of individualism is, goes totally against the grain of what God teaches us. We are designed for community, to build each other up, to lift each other up, and to live with each other in peace and harmony. May the Lord be with you, may he bless you, may he cause his face to shine upon you, and be with you always. Goodbye.